Hey everyone, um, happy Sunday. I had to jump off real quick, so um, everything's good now. I was doing some free writing this morning and some things were just popping up and I wanted to share with you what that was. I really came up with some ideas of like why I turned to food in the first place, why I emotionally eat, um, overeat. And I really thought of like the four things that really have helped me throughout the years with that. And a lot of us focus on the shoulds and the shouldn'ts and what we should be doing, um, shouldn't be eating. And it really puts us back into the mindset of just focusing on food. And food is what the problem is, but really it's not. So I thought of four things that I really thought were the core reasons of why I emotionally eat. Um, So number one, which I think is really key, and I think all four of them are key once I think about it, but um, you decide. Number four, or I meant number one, is to have an awesome morning. You want a morning routine. You want to start your morning off strong. So that means no cell phone right away until you actually have some of you time and you spend some quiet time with yourself. Um, My mornings, I will get up, start the coffee, do a a little bit of a meditation. Um, I have quiet coffee time and I get so many really good ideas while I'm sitting in the it's quiet and I'm kind of like sitting in the dark and I get all these good ideas. And then when I start my day, I tend to forget them um, or I'll forget the context behind them. So I ended up journaling. And if you don't like to journal or write things down, um, I would, which I would recommend, but I would at least write a few things down that you want to do that day. Some key things that you want to do because we get such a high off of marking things off our list we feel really accomplished and we keep wanting to do that. So at the end of the day, you feel accomplished. You feel like you've achieved things and you don't have that feeling of um, something needs to be nourished and you turn to food. That has really helped me in many areas of my life is having a morning routine. But I never really thought of it from keeping me from eating. So that kind of came to me this morning. Um, Number two, humans need to grow. We're meant to grow. We're meant to expand. We're meant to um, have adventure and learn new things. When we're not doing that, we feel stuck. So um, what are a few things I wrote about that? Um, Yes, so go find an inspiring podcast or a book or try a new hobby or do something that you've always wanted to learn because when we're, you know, we'll just feel really stuck and have no purpose if we're not doing this. And that makes us turn to food. So I've noticed I will completely lose momentum and turn to food when I am not doing the few things that I like to do. And one of the things that I've been really keeping my moment, mo, my good momentum going lately are the Facebook groups that I'm, I'm involved with. We share our wins, we share nutrition, we share workouts and Um, We have like little programs that we can do, like 11 day resets and stuff like that. Um, When I try to do all that by myself, I just never finish. So doing it in groups helps me with that. Um, Another thing is, you know, I like to learn a lot about the brain. So I have my inspiring leaders that I like to go listen to on YouTube. So that really keeps me going. And then (laughs) I, I started writing a book and I found this other guy that just he wrote a book about writing books so I've been doing a lot with that too and that's kind of keeping me going so I have like three different channels of things that I'm just trying to keep busy with um that really keeps me away from food too because I feel like my purpose is coming out and um I feel satisfied and I don't feel a lack of something I feel whole so um yeah number two was learn something so you can grow because humans are meant to grow and learn. Number three, um, the feeling of the fear, uncertainty, and unknown. Um, When you are striving to do something in your life that you've always wanted to do and then there's always that there's something there that prevents you from getting to accomplish it or even the small steps to even get there, that feeling will make you feel like half full, like the cup is half full. 
and turn to food as well to nourish yourself because you really feel like something's missing. Um, I will get a lot of good, this is what happens to me, I'll get a lot of ideas for programs and I'm like, okay, I'm going to implement this soon. But then, you know, I am in my comfort zone of researching for the last few years. And whenever I research, I get more ideas. So my idea I had before just gets put on the back burner and I never implement it. But you know what? I, I always thought it was because I'm in the comfort zone that keeps me from moving forward um, with actually doing something opposed to just reading more books and listening to uh, more podcasts and stuff. I always thought it was because I'm in my comfort zone, but really I think it's the excuse that I don't want to go implement a new program because I'm afraid I won't have time to finish and I'll leave people hanging. (laughs) So I got to work on that one. Um, I dedicated this year to actually implementing stuff opposed to just reading and looking up more stuff to research. So um, I actually, now that I started doing that, I do feel more fulfilled. I'm not feeling that lack of guilt in turn to food. Um, I always got hungry at night and I was, I wasn't figuring out why I thought me, Oh, I'm bored or the food's right there. So I might as well eat. So I tried to just keep myself busy, but it was more than that. Um, it was more of like me just not really getting out what I wanted to get out to make me, to make myself feel empowered. Um, so number three was that feeling of the unknown and the, the uncertainty and just powering through that so that you feel, um, your full purpose. And then number four, of course, is eating nutrition. And when you don't eat nutrition or you're eating foods that are deemed unhealthy, you're not going to feel really good about yourself. And you may feel like brain fog or, um, bloat or, um, when you don't feel good about yourself, you crave certain foods and they're not normally the healthy foods or that you are eating healthy foods, but you eat more of them because you think they're just healthy, so it's okay. <laughs> and then you overeat um, and then get felt, <laughs> guilt and felt, um, guilt and shame come in and then you're in the restrictive diet. But um, eating healthy foods will actually make you feel good from the inside out and keep you from reaching other foods because you're already satisfied. You feel great. Um, that's one of the other big ones, like number one and number four, I think key for me. Um, after I started eating better, I felt great, but then I plateaued. Um, so I keep kind of going up the scale. Like I would eat better and then I turned to a little bit more organic foods. And then I got into more of the high quality nutrition from, um, isogenics and have been even now like reaching 10 on the scale. I just don't think I'll ever feel better than I do now. Um, but who knows? Like <laughs> Maybe there's something out there that's going to make me feel like super woman. I almost said Superman. But um, if you have any questions on what to eat to make yourself feel like that op- your optimum self, um, go ahead and IM me. Or if you have any questions about any of these four topics, IM me and I'll, I'll reach out. So um, just to recap, number one is to have a awesome morning. Have your have a good morning routine to get your day productive. Number two was um, go learn something new because humans are meant to grow. And if you're not, you're going to just feel stuck and turn to food. Um, number three was to feel the, when you're feeling the fear and the unknown and uncertainty for doing those things that you really want to get done. When you let fear just stop you, you're just going to feel like you're just not worthy to get those goals that you want. Maybe it was like a start a new program or a system or look for a new job or start a gym membership. You would always make excuses, but those excuses are probably from some other meaning. And number four was to eat healthy, eat nutrition so that you feel good and satisfied so you don't actually go reach for sugars and get stuck in that sugar roller coaster Um, anyway, so if you have any questions about those four things, I am me and I'll reach out and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a fabulous Sunday. Bye.